Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 757 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that every Russian terrorist attack shows that the world's sanctions against Putin's system are not yet sufficient. Every Russian missile contains components manufactured by companies from other countries, not from Russia. There are at least 53 types of such components in the design of the Ha-101 missiles. The Kinjal missile has at least 49 types of components that Russia does not produce. Quote, a significant part of them are manufactured by companies in the free world and imported to Russia through various grey schemes. It is imperative to block such schemes and all those who facilitate them. More sanctions are needed. Greater accountability for sanctioned circumvention schemes is needed, unquote, said Zelensky. He thanked those countries that are already doing this. The head of state stressed that only in the missiles used against Kyiv the day before, there were at least 1,500 components that were imported from the Western countries. This night Russia again attacked Ukraine with missiles and Shahed drones, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Ivan Fedorov, head of the Zaporizhia Oblast military administration, informed that the Russians launched eight missiles against the city of Zaporizhia. Infrastructure facilities were hit as well as civilian houses. Fedorov stated that the information about the casualties is being confirmed. Meanwhile, Kharkiv is under attack as well. According to the local authorities, at least 15 explosions were registered. There are problems with light in the city, the enemy is targeting the energy infrastructure. The mayor called on citizens to be careful as the attack continues. There may be problems with water supply and electric transport. We would really appreciate if you could rate us, ideally with 5 stars, and leave a glowing review in the apps where you are listening to this podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and others. This way more people would learn about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz approves the idea of using income from frozen Russian assets to purchase weapons for Ukraine, reports European Pravda. The European Commission's proposal suggests that 90% of the profit from the frozen sovereign assets of Russia is intended to be directed through the European Peace Facility to purchase weapons for Ukraine. The rest is planned to be used for recovery and reconstruction efforts. Leaders of the 27 EU countries will discuss this proposal at the summit on 21st-22nd March. But according to media reports, they are unlikely to reach a final decision. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban opposes sending weapons to Ukraine. Austria also is against. The Ukrainian parliament has adopted a bill strengthening the social protection of military personnel and police officers, reports Radio Liberty. The bill allows military personnel up to 12 months of leave for medical treatment, including abroad, without a need to undergo medical examination every four months. Military personnel of the armed forces of Ukraine have the right to a parental leave, with the complete preservation of monetary benefits. The law also defined the amount of one-time monetary assistance paid in the event of death of a service person. It cannot be less than 15 million grivna, which is about 382,000 US dollars. In addition, norms against gender discrimination and sexual harassment have been introduced. The document grants military personnel the same rights to freedom of speech in social media as other Ukrainians. Earlier, the Ministry of Defense named this law the first step towards strengthening the social protection of military personnel. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people, and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.